Once again, everybody, welcome to the uh, third Thursday of the month, Night Car Tech Enablement Webinar, hosted by Siri Collaborative with special guest David Perlwater, Quantum Listing, as we talk about all things social, technology, and uh, listing portals, distribution, getting your clients, Google Ads, a lot of great stuff. Uh, we're going to wrap it, keep your questions till the end, or chat them in, and we'll try to grab them as we can see them. Uh, you, everyone is on mute by default. If you do not have video, you are not going to be shown. Uh, if you do turn on your video, but by all means, good. Uh, nothing distracting, nothing inappropriate. <laughs> all right. So uh, it's now 12:11 in Chicago. So to my friends in the greater Chicago land area, thank you again for joining us for another. Uh, CRE Tech Technology, Real Estate Technology, a technology enablement webinar provided by or uh, in partnership with NICAR, your best local commercial association in the middle of the U.S. Uh, any of you who are not with NICAR, I strongly suggest you consider joining as you can, will get not only these benefits, but many others provided to you by them. Specific to us. What we're doing here today. The CRE Collaborative Platform's mission is to drive technology enablement into real estate businesses, big and small, so you can flourish and thrive. What do I mean by that? I mean, well, as brokers, as investors, as lenders, we all have different sets of problems. And in some cases, the same overriding problem. We have X amount of time in a day, X amount of time in a week, X amount of time to execute deals. The amount of time you have directly connects to the amount of deals you can close. So spending time entering data in multiple places, searching through multiple systems, or otherwise known as multi-tenanting, having to go to multiple places, kills your productivity. For those of you joining late, you are on mute. Please chat in any questions as we go. Uh, we've just gotten started. So the Siri Collaborative Platform was built to help you streamline your operations by connecting all your technology, providing you a single source of truth or a single pane of glass to operate from. What I mean by that is to have a digital self. Your digital self is your business card, your inventory, your persona. Who am I in the digital world matches who I am in the real world? I am a broker. I work with different states for different asset classes, and I am affiliated with multiple associations. These are all my credentials. More importantly, as a broker, a developer, and investor, I have deals. My deals have to get to end users, investors, lenders, tenants. That's where special guest David from David Perlmutter from Quantum is going to take over second half of talk. But these deals have to be promoted. So we give you a a place to operate from that will house your inventory. That inventory is then made available to other systems like David's, social media, Facebook, or your CRM. All those those tedious things you're spending your day doing that you can now do or have automated for you. So it all starts with the property search, the ability for any real estate professional anywhere in the U.S. to search 27 million different records by asset type, something we all understand by value, something we all understand. I'll never forget uh, having a heated debate with a, a broker in uh, out west about the definition of triple net. His definition is not the same as mine, but that's not what we're here to discuss. I know all of you on the call have probably had similar conversations. We all know what an industrial building is or a retail building is. And if you don't, the system has a help center and FAQ. We'll help get on the same vocabulary. Once you've identified your asset, whether you're promoting it or searching for it, you can then click in and see the detailed view. These detailed views provide you a way to not only research the asset, but to access partner technologies. Here at CRE Collaborative, everything's about collaborative 2.0 connectivity. So a direct connection at your point of need for more information, whether you're connecting with the owner, the person, or the broker, or maybe you need financing. Maybe you just need to want to be alerted as things change in that market. Or it's a new market you've never looked in before because you're out of product in your local market, and you need to know what's going on with the demographics, the economics. 
each of these p data sets are added into the system for you to give you the opportunity to say, wait a minute, I should be looking there. So as you can see, Connecticut has some very good areas. Green means go. This is economic growth updating in real time. There are a few markets I wouldn't want to operate in. As you search, the system will fill in the details for you. Live chat is always available anywhere across the system, five days a week, uh, it's almost 24-5. In between the table, you can always call us. Our new search will actually geolocate directly to you. So with very little work on your end, you simply dial it up. The system finds the assets for you. Come in, click what you're looking for. Depending on your level, it's free to search, free to promote, free to network. Uh, you'll see data sets. If you, need, if you want more, you access more. In this case, you can also see zoning, cellular towers, uh, different things you would need for your due diligence. And most importantly, once we get past searching, we have the ability to connect with our network. When I say our network, I mean the industry. I mean our sphere. I mean everybody. By another thing we all understand. By role. Are you an owner? Are you an investor? Who are you looking to do business with? For what asset? And are they in your network, private? Or do you need to open it up to the Sphere Collaborative universe to find somebody in a new area, in a new state? Once you've identified this person and, and you have them in your network, you can message them, share your deals in mass, one by one, or in bulk. If they are not in your network, you can add them to your network. Search network, search for the person you're after, in the area you're after. Let's go with uh, David Arca, broker, Miami, Florida. I have, I am trying to do business in Miami. I pull David up. I'm going to see his inventory. I'll be able to message him. I'll be able to follow him be able to keep up with David and what's going on in his market as I expand. And that's all, that's all the free piece of the puzzle. That's all what we give you, because that's how you do business today out in the world. If you could walk and talk and hand cards, you would be doing this. Looking at property, taking down notes. We just give you a way to access the digital. Only digital. Now, in the post-COVID world, today's world, where social media is paramount, where getting your message out across multiple cha channels is king, we also give you the My Social tool. This tool will allow you to take your brand and have it mirrored across all of your channels. It'll show you the ability to track, drive analysis, and double down on any of your successful tweets. So I mentioned a problem earlier, time and distribution. EAC Properties has an inventory of about 200 million off market to brokerage. We've got listings. We need to promote out to hyper local and then out to a certain demographic. We do this through the My Social tool. My Social tool automatically takes those deals you saw before, brings them into here, and gives me the analytics on how they're being posted because the system posts one a day in this case. So as you can see, my interactions are going up. And look at this a thousand. Engagements on 3541 for this business for sale. These deals are now being promoted across all of my different social channels for me. I'm not spending time going in and having to do it all for me. That's not to say that you shouldn't log into social media to do this or do, do that. You should. Social media is not meant to be an auto post system. However, you can automatically post your deals in a lot of instances. You should also be posting other content like blogs thought leadership, other pieces. This automates the tedious part of it, solving it for you, keeping you front of mind. I can't tell you the difference it makes to go from 100 impressions a day to 2,000. So that's less than a penny per impression versus Google, which and David will talk more about this later, costs up to $8 per click. It's just about time and savings, cost reduction, and streamlining. This also, unlike others, allows you to hook into Instagram. And if, for those of you who don't know, with your Instagram, which has become quite popular, quick picture of your building, of your space, you can have buttons. Without this, and to my knowledge, any other system, you cannot have a button on your Instagram, your one website. Our system will give you the ability to have multiple buttons, one for each property, so you can actually capture these. So that's the My Social tool. This is a, this is a premium product within Siri Collaborative. 
it's free for 30 days. And we put our money where our mouth is. Let us show you how valuable this could be for your business across Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, everything. As you grow, we'll grow with you across the different channels. Uh, hold on, just checking questions here as we move through. Good. So as you can see, nobody's on my website right now. EAC Properties, who uses a website? But well, we have to have one. However, I can come here and I can go look at my most my local competitors and see what they're doing. And all of a sudden, this, this is a guy I come up against a lot in the commercial, in my neck of the woods. Okay, now I can see what they're doing. So when I go to meet with a client and I say, and they say, well, what do you do that, that others aren't? Well, here's, a, here's an example, and maybe this isn't what you show them, but I do. This is, this is the guy, you, you probably met with this guy just before me or just after. He's not out there promoting on social. He's not where your audience is. This is where we're a step ahead. Hyper local community management, community targeting. Traditional newspaper advertising and uh, networking events are, it's just a minute, a necessary thing, but now a thing of the past. You can, through technology, go much further, much faster with precision. And being able to translate that to your clients or your investors or through your business to your lenders is key. So as we continue across, planning I showed you, uh, ads I'm not going to talk about because Quantum Listing has an incredible ad program that simply is much better than ours. Uh, so I'm going to invite him to talk about that in just a moment. To recap the CLE Collaborative mission and what we do, search, network, and promote in a mission to drive connectivity, technology, enablement into your business big and small. We are your CTO. We are a CTO, an external technology group that will advise you, will give you the tool to handle all of your needs when searching for assets to buy, sell, lease, when you need to find the professionals, the network of people to act on those assets in any market in the U.S. by role or by asset class. Identify the tool that will make you a better professional or not a better professional, a more streamlined or tech-enabled professional. Because let's face it, the real estate industry hasn't changed. Deals still happen the same way, but there's a lot of time between each portion of the transaction where technology can make it faster, can make it tighter, can allow you to get to the next stage. I remember uh, an old CoStar statement that back when I bought CoStar, way back when, where it was like, man, if only I knew about that comp or that data, I would have been able to get that deal done. Okay, well, CoStar's got a building full of people doing research, and that's how they get data. And technology is the advancement of that methodology, people dialing phones, to having computers do it for us. Siri Collaborative is the portal that aggregates that data into single source, and gives you a fully enhanced version. Just as Quantum is a crowdsourced platform aggregating that data, giving you a fuller picture. We know machines move faster than us in many ways. They may not be as smart as, smart as us in many ways. Still can't cross a restaurant. No robot ever will because there are certain things that the, the human element has to be there for. And that's where the difference. Creco takes over and automates the processes in between, giving you a workflow that's easy to understand. Sorry, I'm going to move your talking. I'm going to move your head so I can show you this map. It's easy to understand, providing you a single place to store, save all your data, while at the same time, advising you on where you can go to access the best data. So in site selection, we start with AI, Google Analytics, not Google Analytics, excuse me, artificial intelligence and blockchain. How do we get there? Where is it? Why? Then that data has to move down into the CRM marketing system because now you have it. Now you want to promote it. I've got this deal. How do I get it to who I need to get it to? And you need to actually market it. Quantum listing, other listing services. Now that it's out there, you've got parties. You've put the parties together. 
how do you underwrite it? How do you transact it? How do you fund it? And as you fund the deals, now that somebody else owns it, they're going to want to crowdfund it, maybe build something new, especially right now, upzoning, buying cheap, and repositioning, getting ready for the future. Now the construction phase, followed by the ownership and asset management phase. We as real estate professionals are involved intimately in many of these phases, and if you're not, your professional partners, allied professionals, are. And having your hand or your client's data travel with them and grow is the way of the future. You'll hear it all day, every day from different places. My data, people are tracking me. There's a value, an inherent value with your data. So the solution is to own it, is to not only host, have something hosted for you, but then enhance it. And then because you own it, because it's enhanced, you then have the ability to push it wherever you want. And one of the places you have to push it because it's just good business is quantum listing. So with that, I'm going to pass to you, David. Uh, questions? Hold on. I'm going to pause. We've got one question here in the chat about cost. Again, free to search, network, and promote. Uh, free 30-day trials for anyone who wants to use the My Social platform to begin automating their tweets, uh, posts, and Instagram use. And premiums and enterprise service where you need someone to really come in and just handle your marketing, handle your technology. Uh, that's uh, to, be to, to be negotiated depending on your needs. David, to you, my friend. Let me make you a co-host. Thank you. That you can share. Uh, and, and if anybody needs any questions, we will share this recording uh, as well as our contact details towards the end. So it's all yours. Take it away. Okay. Uh, it says, so I'm going to stop share. You're going to hit the share button, the green box, the up arrow. At the, yeah, you got it. Uh, still waiting for you to enable. You are. Oh, you enabled me, but yes, you're good to go. <laughs> so, again, this is my good friend and partner, David, and I have been in this for quite some time. Whereas my platform aggregates and integrates everything, David's is focused on crowdsourced portal uh, platform, the crowdsourced listing portal with some incredible Google ads and other things that I'm not going to spoil. Uh, David, zoom in twice, and you're off to the races. Okay. So, uh, hello, everybody. Thanks for uh, having me here, Andreas. I really appreciate the opportunity to uh, talk to you about uh, a very big problem that our industry has, and that is we are in a hostage crisis. Uh, and we are hostages. 85% uh, of commercial real estate searches start on one of their sites. And, you know, that's great for everybody who owns stock in that company. Uh, not so great for those of us in the industry who basically are forced to pay whatever it is they tell us they want us to pay. So how do we break that logjam and get views on your listings without having to be told how much you have to spend? Uh, we've come up with a solution for that. And uh, before we get to that solution, uh, so I started quantum listing five years ago. I'm a commercial real estate broker, just like Andreas and probably most of you on this call. And the reason I created quantum listing is that I wanted to give our industry an alternative. I didn't want to have to do you know four more deals a year just to pay for my you know, LoopNet and, and CoStar subscriptions. Uh, it became like they were my partner instead of a service provider. And that, to me, wasn't really what I wanted. I come from a family that was in the retail industry, in the supermarket business. And, you know, what I learned from my father at a very young age is treat your customers with respect and give them a great value. And uh, keep your customers uh, because it's a lot easier to keep a customer than to get a new one. So those were sort of the, the you know, founding principles of quantum listing. Originally, uh, you know, so we are, as Andreas mentioned, a, a crowdsourced 
uh, site. So we do expect you to add your listing information for you. For uh, a small incremental fee, we'll do it on your behalf, but uh, really is much better, uh, we think, if you do it yourself. And we've made it really easy to do that as well. And you can, if you're using Build Out or Sharp Launch or Preco, you can syndicate your listings to us from any of those sites automatically. So, uh, and Andreas talks a lot about, you know, 2.0 technologies. And the thing about 2.0 technologies is that they put you back in control. You have the choice of what technologies you want to bring together into your tech stack to make sure that you're getting the services that you want and only the services that you want and that you're only paying for what you need. You're not paying for somebody's corporate jet. You're not paying for somebody's lifestyle. You're you. And so, you know, the big nut we had to crack is how do we get your listing in front of as many people as those guys or even more, but put you in control of your budget? And we've come up with a really great solution to that. And uh, that solution is with, accessible to anybody on our platform with just a few clicks. Uh, it allows you to post your listings on the Google Display Network. There are two types of Google ads. There's the Google Search ad, which Andreas mentioned before, and those are very expensive. You pay per click for those. And in commercial real estate, which is a expensive asset class, and the display ads are very expensive. There's an auction system that Google has in place. And in order to get your ad seen in the search network uh, up at the top, you have to be willing to pay more than everybody else. Uh, we ha Google has another system, and we think this is better for you because it's much more cost effective. It gets your ad in front of tens of thousands of people in a week, and you get a lot of clicks on it, and your cost per click is a fraction of what it would be on the search network. And what's even better about this is that your ads find your customers. You don't have to have somebody searching for your listing, for your listing to find them using the Google Display Network. So Google Display Network ads, just to take a step back, are the ads that you see when you're surfing the internet and you're on websites that you ordinarily go to. 94% of websites that show ads show Google Display ads. So what that means is if you're on, it could be the Oprah Winfrey network, or it could be ESPN, or it could be whatever news site that you like, they all have Google Display ads on them. And we allow you to target or county or state where you want your ad to show. And we've programmed this so that we've added affinity groups so that you're not just going to have your listing show to somebody who just wants to find uh, gardening tips or, or recipes. So it could be somebody who wants to find gardening tips and recipes, but who also has some sort of interest in commercial real estate, whether it's as an owner, a broker, or a tenant. So thankfully, Google is a lot smarter than I am, and they've figured out how to put all this information together. And so for $25, uh, you can pick your ad. It'll run for four or five days. You'll get tens of thousands of views, and I'll show you uh, data in a moment uh, to, that substantiates this. This is not just me, you know, making pie in the sky. Uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, you know, claims this is actually real. Hold on, I have to figure out how to get my. Uh, 
Oh, wait, sorry about this. Okay, so uh, so there are uh, oh, there's other here. We'll skip ahead from that. Uh, on the uh, uh, hold on, I have. Oh, and you well, you were meant, as you find that. I mean, you've got case examples from Chicago land native uh, Carlson Integrated yes, who did absolutely. this. Yes. So Beckett Carlson, who uh, is uh, I don't I think the Chairman or President Emeritus of, of NICAR uh, has used these display ads. And she gave us such an amazing testimonial uh, about them. And she ran these ads, and she's a marketing professional in addition to being a commercial real estate broker. So she's done Google display ads on her own. And I can tell you from my own experience doing them, to set them up yourself, is laborious. It's time consuming. So what we were managed to do is find a way for you to be able to do this with a couple of clicks. You select the listing, you select where you want it to show, and then you enter your payment information through PayPal so it's super secure. And Google takes about 24 hours to moderate your ad to make sure that it fits uh, their criteria. And we can talk about their criteria in a moment. Uh, and then it runs for four or five days. Uh, at the end of each business day, you get to see how your ad is doing. So uh, I don't know. It's, uh, in you can see here, this is our on, on from our analytics section on quantum listing. So if you're a quantum listing member and you're running these ads, you can see it right on uh, the site. We don't have to email you anything or or do anything like that. So over the several times that I've run these ads, I've gotten 299,210 views of my listings that I have uh, put out on the display network. And the number of clicks is uh, 245 clicks overall. So if I were paying per click, that probably would have cost me, you know, two or three thousand dollars to do, and instead, this probably cost me two or three hundred dollars at the most uh, to do. So, last uh, month, I ran two ads, and I got sixty-four thousand six hundred and fifty-seven views of those two ads. And this month, I ran one ad and. Uh, I guess it was in a less expensive market. So I got 50,691 views of that ad. And well, we're only halfway through the book. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and the, the, the reason I know it works, it's not just because I say it works, it's because the people who run these ads do them again and again, and they call us up or they send us emails saying, oh my God, I can't believe this. I got you know leads from this. I'm doing it again, and they do it again and again. And I can tell you, I've, you know, because my clients don't want me to use that other company because it's defensible failure. Uh, this technique gets you so many more views and clicks on your listings than just having your thing on that. Sure, they get, you know, a very large multiple more traffic to their site than we get to our site, but who cares? That doesn't count. What counts is how many views and clicks you get on your listing. So, you know, there's a million, two million, three million listings on their site. Not all of them as fresh as ours, by the way, uh, because, well, we can talk about that another time, but what really makes a difference to you or what should make a difference to you is the views and clicks your listing get. You don't care if somebody else is getting views or clicks. I mean, you might be a nice guy and, and root for your fellow broker, and that's great. I don't want to take that away from you. Uh, but in terms of you and your clients and you're making money, you want to put your dollars where the greatest return of in, on investment is. So on that other site, you have to pay on average like $150 a month per listing. 
we charge you $89.99 a year for unlimited listings. So if you want to take a fraction, just a fraction, you know, $75, $25, $50, whatever it is, spend the whole $150 and spend that on your listing through us on the Google Display Ads, you will get so many more views and so many more clicks and so many more real leads on your listing than you're going to get doing it the old-fashioned way. Doing it the 2.0 way is going to get you results that are way better than the way you've been doing it in the past. Uh, well, and you're building your brand instead of their brand because it's uh, your page, right? You're correct, yes. You are, you know, we're not hiring Jeff Goldblum to do our advertising for us. Uh, you know, we put every dollar, you know, back into you. We're improving our technology. We're doing great partnerships like we have with uh, the CRE Collaborative. Uh, we're, you know, helping, you know, put all the pieces together so that you have this optionality. And, you know, if you're a retail broker, you know that in December, retailers, are not looking for space. They're focused on sales and come December or February, that's when they're really going to be uh, deciding whether they're gonna put the gas on finding new sites or whether they're gonna hold up because it wasn't such a great Christmas. So what does that mean to you? So if you're using that other site, you're paying the same amount every month, whether or not, uh, you know, you want to because that's what's in their click-through agreement. Uh, with us, you can say, all right, you know what? January is when I really want to put my foot on the gas and spend some money to get the views because December I could spend it and you know, nobody's, everybody's thinking about shopping. They're, they're not thinking about uh, you know, getting a, a lease on a 20,000 foot store or, or a warehouse space. You know, that's not what's happening in December. So to the extent that you have that control, you're going to end up spending your money much more efficiently because it's for you uh, as opposed to having somebody else tell you what you need to do and when you need to do it. Um, and maybe it's, you know, being a younger brother, doesn't, I don't like being told what to do, but uh, uh, for anybody who's a middle child or an older, older sibling also, I don't think you probably like being told what to do so much either. So, uh, well, I, th I think it's more than that. It's, it's none of our business. Speaking from my experience, 14 years as a broker, I'm not, you know, David, uh, you, we've both been uh, with CoStar and not and with others and, and uh, love the New England Real Estate Journal up here in the Northeast. Uh, there are things that I know really work in my business. It's like late, like I mail, I do, I do snail mail, I do letters to landlords and owners. So I know when to spend that money and, and how, and in, so, in some cases, I don't, and I recall being in those. I'm not a. I'm not a big box client. That's not what I need. I need a flexible product, and that's what you and I are. That's what I love about what we do. This 2.0 technology. It's 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 the entire world is now in this. Buy what you need when you need it, and then scale it down. Uh, it's it's a consumption model instead of what used to be where you had to buy a building, fill it with servers to hold your data. Now it's all in a cloud. Your cloud gets bigger and smaller. And it's, but it's a mentality shift that is, I think, so important that people realize, both for your consumers and your clients, because your clients, our clients, are out there, they're going to ask us more questions now because they're going to be searching for stuff. But we need to show them this data. And I, last I checked, I don't have that with some of these other options. If, if I don't own the data, I can't show them where it's been, how it's been. And they, that's, it's been a while since I've been on a loop net, loop netter, loop netter, is that it? <laughs> So, you know, the, you should know that there, there are options for you, and I'm not saying you should get rid of any service that you're using until you are comfortable that there are other things that can fill that void effectively for you. And the nice thing about, you know, what we do and what, you know, CRE Collaborative does is that you have the ability to try it you know, we will give you your first 30 days for free as well, and you can cancel uh, your subscription anytime during those first 30 days. Um, but 
you know, you can see if it works for you. And we're pretty confident it will because, uh, you know, our customers tell us it does. So I would encourage you to you know, think about alternatives. It's not going to, uh, you, you don't get dinged for your $89 and 99 cents, uh, until the day number 30. So, you know, you can spend the 25 bucks and say, Oh my God, he was right. It actually does work. Or you can spend the 25 bucks and say, well, I tried, it didn't work. And uh, I can you know, go back to doing things the way I did them before. Uh, you know, we're pretty confident that you will realize that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that you can do things in a 21st century way. Um, and you don't need to use your grandfather's uh, you know, listing service anymore. Uh, and please join us our podcast and uh, join our systems. Have a great rest of your day. Say, uh, oh, go ahead, Dave. And thank you, NICAR, and everybody watching. I uh, really appreciate, appreciate the opportunity to share what we're so passionate about. Okay. Awesome. Uh, All right, thank thanks. you. Right on the job here, Andres, i got to tell you. Patrick. Uh, Patrick is an amazing success manager. He's one of the best in the business. Yeah. Uh, we'll tell him it's you so he doesn't pick me later and go. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, that's all she wrote. Uh, we Everybody's dropped out. It's just you and I. Uh, excellent. So, uh, I have an onboarding call at 2, actually. So they might join. Let me exit here. Let me close out of here. All right, go, go, go. Don't be late. Thank you. Catch up with you.